A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hi guys, I have to be quick. Abby has been coming walking with me. I haven't filmed it. I don't put any pressure on her, but it's been so much fun. So it's only 9.30 in the morning. She's home from school. We're going on a walk. So let's see how many miles we can do today because I don't have any time restriction until this afternoon. Um, so we have a lot going on this afternoon, but I'll fill you in with that it's later on. Made our way um, through Saturday or through Seattle afternoon traffic. Not too bad. What well, to take us like 40 minutes to get over here? Um, we are here for a post op appointment for Abby. She's right here next to me, um, and hopefully we can schedule her surgery for her nose. It's the last stage of the surgery, so we're gonna go in. But it's also post op. Are you gonna talk to him about the little post? I don't know. You should just ask his opinion about it. Yeah. Okay. We'll find out. The big change in this part of your face in terms mm -hmm. of the roundedness. Yeah. We are sitting in traffic heading home. Great appointment. <laughs> Wish I could show Abby. She's so cute. Um, the appointment went well and um, we are set to do surgery this summer. We are, he is going to submit the surgery um, to insurance to get it approved. It's a simple take a photo. She needs a surgery, approve it because it's in conjunction with the jaw surgery, which was mandatory. So it shouldn't be um, hard for insurance to, to approve it. And it's a quicker process just because it's attached to the jaw surgery. So he said there's a good chance I could actually schedule the surgery before insurance even approves it. So I'm going to I was hoping to do that today from the office, as Abby knows. It's way easier to schedule when you're there, but they wanted to, I don't know, they wanted to get the insurance started. Um, but I'll have to show you, I'm gonna have to pull up old photos of um, even post-surgery and show you um, where all the titanium posts are and how much the bones have grown in today versus post surgery. Yeah, they like fill it's, themselves in. Yeah, it's crazy to like and I just want to go back and pull up all the photos and like compare them. It's my, it's kind of cool. And then I'll have to tell you a cute little story if we get a red light up here. Show them the little the little uh Oh, I can show them. Here. I was going to put it down here and show. All right. So, they gave this to her. It's a little like, I don't know. It's just a little jelly, it's like silicone little, thing. They, they keep things like this for kids. She found it at Target and she gave it to me. Yeah, the nurse did. Yeah. But the cool part of that is um, that we had just gotten done talking about how my dad likes to see photos, the before and afters and all the plates and all the things um, from the x-rays. And so I had taken some pictures and videos to send to my dad and then she showed me that and my dad made balloon animals. He was the balloon animal doctor. He was the pediatrician that did these balloon animals. Um, that was like his signature. He always did that. And so very, and we had just said that all of this is my dad's fault because it's genetic. And he has had this surgery and my brother and my niece. And anyway, so that was fitting that she got a little balloon animal yeah. little guy. But now we're gonna fight traffic and head home. Jason said there was a huge fire heading north um, as he's heading south, coming home. Luckily, we're not going in that direction. Um, but our directions say that we, it, 
we have to go to Chick-fil-A on our way home. It just, that's the direction that we have to go. Um, it's the quickest. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna meet with Chelsea and everyone else to do her graduation. So like I said, it's kind of a busy day, <laughs> a lot going on, um, but so far, good news. All right, so Abby and I fought traffic for a very long time, and then made our way over to Chick-fil-A, got lunch, dinner, whatever you wanna call it, and then had even more traffic fighting. I was trying to find shortcuts and back ways and that just was making it worse. Or the same. I don't know. So I've only had 23 minutes at home <laughs> since I got here. So Jason's joining us. So waiting for the kids to get in the car. Say hi. Hey. Um, heading off to graduation number two. And uh, Grandpa luckily came his usual 15 minutes early and found a parking spot right by the school, which is perfect. And now doesn't understand that it doesn't start for an hour. <laughs> You're sitting well, in your car. Well, you told him when to come. I did so. tell him when to come, but I told him to come here to the house. But it's okay. He found a spot, so he's good. Oh, he can leave when he wants. He feels mm -hmm. in control. Yeah. Well, here, let's back out so we can roll her quicker. Oh, am I going with you or are you just going to take my car? I'll just take your car. Hallelujah, because I'm tired. No, that's fine. <laughs> we are done for the day. Graduation number two checked off of our list. It was really fun. Um, we just had to hike up the hill to where our car is parked. <laughs> We're all kind of tired. Ashley wants ice cream, and so Jason's going to run down and get it. Oh, I just dropped something. Probably a pin fell off my purse. All right, well... I think we've accomplished quite a bit for one day. Um, so we're gonna sign off with you and we'll see you next time. Good night guys.